Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the TMR017 with an RYG11 red, yellow, green indicator. This red, yellow, green indicator is used for timing events. So green means run, yellow means wrap it up, red means you're done. Okay, I'm going to use a short phone cord to make it easy. And it's going to be a, a four conductor standard cord. Notice that on a standard cord both tabs are out and the yellow wire is on top. If I turn the tabs over, both tabs are facing in and the black wire is out. Now, you don't want to use the crossover because it won't work right. So this is a standard telephone cord. Now we can have a longer cord up to, up to 200 feet with this operation. So I'm going to plug the cord into the RJ11 jack on here. Now we're not going to use a Cat5 jack, that's for longer distances. Uh, and there's a power connector here. So, I'm going to take the back of this thing, get you more of a little light here, and you can see the connectors on the back. This is the TX jack and the RX jack. They happen to be connect connected together right now, so either jack will work. And this jack over here is a Cat5 jack, we're not going to use it right now. So, I'm, I'm going to plug the cord in to the TX jack. Okay, I'm going to turn it over. Actually, first of all, I'm going to plug in the power cord. I can turn it over, and it shows hello. Okay, I could have plugged it into this jack over here. Either one would work fine. I can plug it into either jack, and it will work. Now I'm going to press reset. You'll notice the time shows one minute. I can turn the knob to the number of minutes that I want. Let's say I want 11. I press start, and it starts counting down. The green light turns on. Then when it gets down to two minutes, it's going to turn yellow, and then eventually turn red when it gets to zero. Now, I don't want to use ten minutes, so I'm going to hit stop. I'll turn it to some other number, hit start, and it works. Okay, and let's say I, I'm done, I count down to zero, I hit stop, and reset. When I hit the reset, it went to seven minutes again, because that was the last time that I put into the timer. So whatever number I put in there, it's going to reset back to the same preset value that I put in there originally. Now I'm going to press start, and we'll press the mode button. This shows elapsed time. Press the mode button again. This shows time remaining. So it doesn't affect the green, yellow, red light, but it does show whether you're looking at elapsed time or time remaining. So now I'm going to hit start. That'll stop it. And I want to use the select button here and press this. Now I can select hours. So right now I want zero hours. And I want to set it to seconds. Notice that I'm changing the seconds here. So I'm going to press it one more time and set the minutes to zero. And press the select button two times. Now I'm changing seconds. I'm going to set it to 10 seconds. I'm going to press reset and start. It starts counting down to zero. Now watch it here as it gets closer to zero. The yellow light will come on and when it gets to zero the red light will come on and it will beep. Press reset, start, and repeating the same process. If I press the mode button you'll see elapse time. Now we'll watch it count down. Um, notice that the timer keeps running. If we're up to 14 seconds now so if you're showing elapsed time, the timer is not going to stop. Yeah, even though the time remaining went to zero and the beeper beeped, we're showing elapsed time, so the actual time just keeps running and running until I either switch to countdown mode or stop it. So if I switch to countdown mode, the timer stops. If I press it, there is, you see it's no longer running. If I press reset, now in count up mode, or it shows zero. In count down mode, it shows the preset value that I put in there, which was 10 seconds. So pressing start, starts at counting down. Okay, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to press and hold the mode button, and you'll see B1. This means beeper is in the one mode. So I'll return this to zero. I press reset and start and it's going to start counting down to zero. 
and as it counts down to zero, you're going to see that there is no beeper sound. It turns yellow, it turns red, and no sound. So I'm going to press reset. I'm going to press and hold the mode button again. This time I'm going to set beep mode two. I'm going to press reset. I'm going to press start. Now it's going to beep when it turns to yellow. Now if we watch it here, it beeped at the yellow and it beeped when it got to zero. So this is called beep on warnings. So I'm going to press the mode button again and hold it. Turn it back to B1. Press reset. Start. Or we're back to the normal countdown beep. So that covers the operation of the TMR-017 along with the RYG-11.